Hello, everybody. I'm going to read for you The Teacher's Night Before Christmas by Stephen L. Lane. Here we go. The Teacher's Night Before Christmas. Twas a week before Christmas and all through the town. Every school teacher scurried, they could not slow down. Their brains were all frazzled from school celebrations and the seasonal rush of pre-Christmas vacation. The festive art projects, a yearly tradition, had ended as always in room demolition. And a nursing home trip earned one principal's pout. When Pierre pulled the fire alarm, they cleared the place out. Then the holiday pageants produced minor troubles, like the Virgin and Joseph on stage blowing bubbles. And then one of God's angels got airsick and cried, Mrs. Bigler, I've thrown up on Joe, Tom, and Clyde. But when gala school programs were done and folks parted, the room mom commandos had just gotten started. They'd planned party events to make all students drool like wild scavenger hunts where kids ran through the school. And unique Yuletide bingo, which started out nice until Mike Haddendorf won a bingo game twice. Then the other kids hollered and threw such a fit that the game was short-lived because everyone quit. But the moms were undaunted. They moved on to crafts with some glue guns and scissors and spray paint and masks. And inside of one hour, the 10-minute wreaths were lying all over and drying on sheets. Then the students and mothers departed the school and the teachers rushed home just a few days till Yule. With a tree still to trim, Christmas candy to make, the cards yet to mail, plus a fruitcake to bake. So when Christmas Eve came, they were all feeling blue, for the teachers still had Christmas shopping to do. Thus, they started at once to converge on the mall, but the sight of a school bus in flight stopped them all. It was Jolly St. Nick staring down from the sky in a sports coat, suede elbows, new glasses, and tie. He was quite the professor, and his class looked in session with a busload of elves far too busy to question. He'd assigned them the task of creating a toy that not even a child like Ben Gray could destroy. When he stepped off the bus, all the teachers felt fine. Then he opened a grade book and said, get in line. Mrs. Bigler, Miss Haley, Miss Elks, Mr. Best, Mrs. Bruni, Ms. Jantz, Dr. Johns, and the rest. You've been working so hard for your students I've seen that you've run short on time for your own Christmas scene. I've been checking my records throughout this past year and your grades indicate that you've nothing to fear. Santa truly loves teachers, support staff and such. Your students are blessed because you've given so much. So I'm telling you all and your colleagues here too, stop this last minute shopping. I'll take care of you. Go on home, go to bed, leave the big guy in charge. I'll take care of those wish lists no matter how large. Then he beeped the bus horn while he stepped on the gas, and he gave a soft laugh as his bus flew on past. Merry Christmas to all, his voice rang out with might, but especially to teachers, and especially tonight. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody.